everyone, welcome back. Today's video is gonna be a uni room transformation and room tour. I hope you guys enjoy. It's a really big space, but it has attic features, so I can't really put all the furniture like wherever I want. It's not everything will fit because of the way that the ceilings are done. I don't think I'm explaining that right, but you know what I mean. The main wall in my room is painted a really nice light green, which was kind of my inspiration for the whole flow of the room. <laughs> flow of the room. So these were the main things I did to the room this week. Art was a big one. I bought these two one pound frames from Tiger and filled one of them with this print by Talkmore, which is like a Leeds based graffiti guy. I feel like if you know Leeds then you may recognize the tag. And I got this print for my birthday from my friend Scarlett and I wanted to pop it up in one of the frames and I used this like magazine background to add some layer behind it. I also made another frame with loads of different pieces of art that I liked and that is a tip if you get a frame that's a lot bigger than any piece of art you own then you can collage and layer loads of things together which makes more of like an exciting piece on the wall you don't have to have loads of blue tack on the walls worrying about losing your deposit or whatever you can just shove everything in a frame and it also means that you can take things out add little bits in and it becomes quite a nice like new piece that you've done yourself I don't know, I really like the one that I did and I'm gonna be doing that in the future. I also put a couple of other things in frames that you'll see in the broom tour. And I use this tea towel that I've had for a really long time that I really like the print of. I have no idea who the artist is, so if you guys recognize it, please let me know in the comments because I'd love to know. And I use command strips for these. I also use command strips for the two frames. Now I did put one of the frames up uh, using the same command strips and it fell down and the frame smashed. So that's great. It was really annoying because now that area is really blank, but we're making do. Curtain, oh my God. So I do not like the curtains that are in my room because my room gets so dark. I thought it'd be better for me to try and find some white curtains, which would help brighten up the space, but I don't want to spend any money. But none of the charity shops had white curtains. They only had like scrap bits of white cream fabric. So I ended up buying a bunch of them and was like, I'm gonna collage curtains. And in my head, I thought I was just gonna attach this white fabric to the existing curtains, layer loads of white bits together, make it really like effortless and look like it looks really bad, but that's the point. And I was like, yeah, this is gonna be great. And then one, I kind of ran out of fabric and two, I looked at it even more and I was like, this looks awful. I tried, I really did try to change my curtain situation, but here we are. So that was a big fail. If I wasn't a student, I would probably invest in some proper curtains, but there's no point. So we're dealing with the weird striped curtains. I also did the quickest DIY on this bin. I bought a netted bin, um, it was really cheap. Did not like the look of it, bought it for the fact that it was a bin. And I used the fabric that I bought for the curtain DIY, wrapped it around, um, glued it on with a hot glue gun. Like that is literally how lazy I am. I didn't even sew it in to the holes, like I just, glue gunned it and then I used one of my lino prints of this like butterfly babe girl put it over the top and I was like yes I love this I feel like if you have a nice bin you can also like keep it out of the way in your room and it becomes like another piece to fill the space because my room's so big it's nice to like not have an ugly bin shoved under a desk or something like I want it out I want it to be like become part of the room Plants, everyone is loving plants at the moment. No room is complete without some plants. As you can see, I literally brought my own plants down into the bathroom for this shot. At the beginning of lockdown, I bought a few plants and I bought three of them up this year. Um, they're all kind of in identical small pots. So I put them in front of the windowsill because I find that they need loads of light. Then this plant here, I bought from Waitrose and it was on sale for eight pounds and it also came in the pot as well, such a good deal. It's huge and it's a really nice light leafy green, very different to my other ones, so this is so gorgeous. I put this one next to my dresser so it's in front of the green wall, a lot of greens going on. I tried to really make a green theme within the room. I also bought some flowers from Kirkgate Market, a really cheap bunch and I've been drying them out and I put a few in this little vase here. I think they look so nice. This vase I found in a charity shop for a pound and I featured it on a haul recently. Um, but you can kind of put them in anything, like old bottles or wine bottles. 
All the fireplaces in the house are original, but mine is boarded up um, and there's like plastic stuff over it and I wanted to cover it up. So I basically copied this picture from Pinterest and it kind of failed. Um, I had a plan in mind to do exactly the same that they did, but have um, like a cream background and then like a neon pink. But then I changed it to a grey and then the circles were too big and it's just like, it kind of failed and I tried to turn it into something a bit different, but I don't know, I feel like it's not that bad. Just, it's not cute. I think I'm gonna try and lino print it again this time down here and just go full force with the ink and see what comes out um, so this is the finished product I don't know let me know what you think but I never thought to do that with my fireplace before so thank you for that Pinterest picture Welcome to my room, come on in. So this is my finished room. Behind my door I have my hanging of all my bags and everything. And then to the right, when you come in, I have my uh, wardrobe, which is a really nice old school, um, traditional squeaky wardrobe. Here I have this storage thing from Ikea and hanging some trousers and other bits I need hanging. Down there I have my shoes. And I also have PJs and all my bedding and everything. I managed to fit it all in. And then up there is kind of ugly, but I have all of my storage stuff. But let's not look at that. Then next to the wardrobe, I have this shelving unit that came with the room. And up here I have this plant pot that I don't use for anything yet. This art piece that I did, a Miffy mug I got for my friend Isabel. And this little um, pot thing. And then on this shelf, I have some like lotion and stuff, some books and a hairbrush, camera and stuff. This is a lamp, but there isn't a plug socket around here, so it kind of just sits there doing nothing, but still. I also have some clay pots I just made. These two um, candle, um, empty candle holder things. And then this is a really great uh, painting that my friend Isabel did of us too. And then down here we get to some like DIY cards and stuff that I'm in the middle of finishing. And then here I have my Depop um, packaging bag and all my Depop thank you cards and some birthday stuff for people. And then over here is my clothing rail. I just have all of my coats and my jumpers up here. It just fills the space quite nicely because the ceilings is like so awkward. You kind of have to play around a lot about where you can put stuff. Uh, moving on over here is the finished bin. You guys saw the before and here is the after. It's not perfect. But for like a 20 minute DIY, I'm pretty happy with it. And then behind here, I keep all of my DIY like fabrics and stuff and my sewing machine. And then moving on around here is my mirror. This is from Ikea and it's huge, it's great. And then here we have my massive desk and this like wooden block that I had nothing else to do for it. So I just popped it on here so it like raises my desk a bit. This is my cutting mat that I just use. It's like covered in clay and my beautiful plants. Um, then we have my stripy curtains and these uh, little cherry bunting. Then this is a really nice uh, chest of drawers, another like original piece in the house that I just keep all of my art supplies um, and all my sunglasses are down there as well. And then this is kind of ugly, but I just have some notebooks, some Percy pigs. Then in this weird little cubby hole, I just popped my uh, washing bin and this is all my Depop stock in there. And to try and cover it up, I put these fake plants up on this like macrame plant holder that I got in the corn exchange and it's just so nice. I'm really surprised that it managed to stay up on this hook, but yeah. Then here we have my fireplace, which I'm really happy with. Up here we have this collage piece I showed I did have the other one up here, but then overnight it fell down and the frame broke. Um, which led me to just pop it up over there by itself. I think it kind of works, it's a shame there's nothing over here, but it is what it is. 
On here I have this fish um, vase that I got from Tiger. This is a mug that is from the artist David Shrigley that I got for my birthday from Evie. These are two uh, charity shop vases that I pop these little delicate flowers in which I think just looks so cute. And then I have my incense holder, um, then I have this crystal and my uh, little cow print thing which I have um, all of my incense sticks in. And then here is the fireplace cover which isn't the best but I'm kind of happy with it. It's a lot better than what it looked like before. Then down here is my cow rug and then this is my beautiful uh, dressing table which I absolutely love. And it's just got all of my bits on it. This is a little dish with my rings and some nail polish. My bedspread is from Urban Outfitters, but it's really, really old. And I have this cow print pillow that I got at Kirkgate Market ages ago. And then this is a tea towel. I don't know who the artist is, but it's really nice. And I really love the green vibes in here. On the other side of the bed, I have this rug, my slippers, and this ugly bedside table, which is such a shame because everything in the house is like original old furniture. So it's a shame to see like ugly student style pieces, but if you don't really look it in the room anyway. I have my lamp and just my bits and stuff. And then on here, I am trying to dry out these flowers, but I quite like the way it looks on there. So I'm hoping to just leave them there the whole time. That is my finished room tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for a whole house tour that's gonna be coming real soon on my channel. So subscribe to get notified when I post that video and follow me on my social media to keep up with me.